Hey, what's up? This is Legendary Beats here from LegendaryBeatsOnline.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to quantize in FL Studio. Now, all quantizing is is setting the sound, the sound sequence, the key notes that are being played, and putting them on the correct time signature. <clears throat> so sometimes what happens is that uh, it could work properly, and then it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, all it does is fit it fits the note on the correct not on the correct but on a time signature that's on time with the beat so we say it's 70 beats per minute um it's 70 bpm uh it'll autom when you quantize it'll automatically try to fit it in to fit that but you might have to go in to manually move it around a little bit but not too much all right so let's try this out real quick so i was working on this beat um, the other day and I thought it was hot so I just have to record in this new part it's gonna be some violins so I should turn off everything else so whoops Alright, so we have the sound added in. <clears throat> As you can see, some of the sounds are chopped up. It's short, some are long. Um, they're all in the wrong place. You can see it throughout the whole thing. That's because of the delay from the MIDI to the MIDI signal to the computer. So what you could do is you, on your keyboard, you hit Alt and Q at the same time. So what I like to do is I just use I like to hit um, Control All to highlight all of the keys in that sequence. Then you hit Alt Q. So a pop up is going to pop up, and it already tries to quantize at the beginning of you know each uh, mini beat portion of the you know table. So here, what you can do is quantize end time. So that doesn't always full it up, but it quantizes it so that most of them are the same length. Well, you could quantize duration. So what that does is make sure that every key hit is the same length when you quantize duration. You could do leave end time. This means that after it did its basic quantize, it's gonna leave it at whatever you know end time that it kind of chose to you so as you can see some of them are some of them are short some are still long and you have leave duration so however it was originally at least the duration it was remained that way but it's going to quantize the beginning so here what we're going to do is we're going to quantize duration and we're going to hit accept and from here we could clean it up as needed so this uh so this one can move over a bit and I think this one and this whole thing is it down here? The whole thing needs to move over. That's pretty much it. So okay, and I want to show you something else. So, for example, if you played in, um, this is another example. So if you played in the keys, just like I did just now, there is a way also to just make sure that they all, um, uh, like you wanted to. Act hold for a long time or hold until the next key is hit so what you could do I don't know if it's gonna work for this but what you could do is you could hit alt L 
What that does is it fills the length automatically until it reaches the next key. So that could that could come in handy, especially if you're playing uh, piano keys or something like that. And you want it to, you know, feel natural, I guess. Um, and you don't want to go in manually and manually change these or do control A um, to manually pull everything over. All you have to do is hit Alt L and it would fill it in for you. So that's just a little some little information. So that's how you quantize. Also, um, the easier way to quant I guess the easier way, I don't know. Um, but I like the I like to use the keyboard commands. Um, easiest way to quantize is uh, coming up here and then clicking quantize and it quantizes for you. So you just highlight everything, hit the little settings button, then you hit quantize. It also shows you it's Alt Q. You quantize, and there you go. And for the articulation, as I was showing you before, the articulation, what it's doing is filling up till it hits the next key, so you don't have to manually do that. Articulate. There you go. Boom. And that's it. All right, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to like this video as well as comment in the you know comment box below if you have any questions that you want me to cover in a video or if you just want to leave some feedback. And also remember to subscribe to this page so that you always get updates on new videos. All right, I'm out. It's kind of early this morning. It's like 8.47 a.m. I'm tired. All right, peace.